time I got knocked down, I got knocked out by a basketball, all these things happened to me, but I never really broke anything, never, okay? And all the young people, you take heed of this. Till I was 36, that's when I realized I was old. And this is where I ripped the cartilage in my knee, I couldn't believe it. I needed a quick poo, this is no messing. <laughs> I ran into the toilet, pulled my trousers down, bent down too quickly, and me knee fell off. <laughs> no bungee jumping parachute stories for the grandchildren. What happened to granddad's knee? <laughs> oh, he was having a shit and it fell off. <laughs> and when you have a shit like that, and you break your knee, especially the cartilage, your knee locks, it locks. <laughs> I was stuck on the toilet with my trousers halfway down. I couldn't get up. I had to call my wife. Now, I'm with my wife 12 years. It doesn't matter what she sees anymore. The hate in our marriage couldn't get any bigger. <laughs> but I was able to call my wife. Brenda! She came, opened the door, looked at me, and went, what? I broke my knee, having a shit. <laughs> she looked at me, my loving wife meant, you idiot! <laughs> I have a time for this, I have a dinner on! <laughs> but I was stuck on the toilet. I, you'll have to help me up. So she put her arms around me, and she went to lift me up, and I went, you'll have to do something else first. <laughs> She went, I am not doing that. <laughs> so this is what she did instead. She held me off the toilet about an inch and she shook me from side to side. <laughs> oh. We didn't make love for at least four months after that. <laughs> <laughs>